in the entire auto industry there's one segment which need a proper definition or the definition keep changing for that segment that segment is called SUV once when you hear the name SUV the picture which comes to your mind would have been a boxy rugged off-roaders but now it's not the scene there are SUVs from sub 4 meter up to the full size 7 seater premium SUVs but most of them are basically crossovers than a proper off-roader capable SUV the Reno India is now introducing a new premium crossover SUV to extend their success in India which is called the Capture Capture is a global model which has been sold million numbers and has been very successful for Reno so now they are introducing the new Capture to India basically to capture a new segment of market to compete with the guns like the Hyundai Crota and Maruti X-Cross. The price is still not announced till the moment I am driving the car but considering the dimension and the displacement I feel this fall in that segment. With the new Capture what Renault is trying to introduce is a stylish, feature loaded, comfortable premium SUV which is in a crossover form which can capture a lot of Indian minds with all these elements. Of course, this is a very stylish looking car which I will explain later when I pull on to check the exterior. When it comes to the powertrain, they have taken the proven K9K 1.5 litre DCI diesel engine which we have seen in the duster with an output of 110 PS and 240 mm of torque. This is made to a 6 speed gearbox which is a smooth gearbox but a very different gear ratio with a higher torque for the first gear and the second gear onwards with a lesser torque. Right now there is no auto transmission available but of course there is a petrol variant but we are not test driving that today, we are only having the diesel for the drive here. The powertrain is a decent powertrain with a optimum power and a good efficiency which you knew from just us experience. It's not that refined powertrain but the acoustics are done in a way that the sound from the engine is not peeping into the cabin and the wind noise as well as the road noise is very minimal. So basically the refinement level for the new capture is so good it can be compared to any premium compact SUV. Another highlight of the new capture is its suspension tuning. With the experience in India, Renault know how to tune the suspension which we have seen in the duster as well as in the quid. So the refinement level of the suspension is so good that any of the premium SUV customer would be happy with the ride and refinement. So it's a comfortable suspension. You can easily take it to any kind of bad road because the ground clearance is also the best in the segment. With It's a 210 millimeter in ladder. Steering is also precise which again has experience from the previous duster. As a precise steering it's good for the drivers, fun, give a lot of confidence and it's also smooth and you know, easily maneuverable. Being a global model the safety has not compromised. It's a highly rated uh, safe car. There is a lot of safety elements being added in form of electronic as well as the passive and active safety modes and even the car is built very strong. The frame is very strong so don't have to worry about the safety in this new capture which is one thing the Indians are very keen nowadays. Well when it comes to the present Indian market the design plays a big role for any kind of product no matter it is a car or maybe any kind of gadget you want to look and feel different and better than what the competitions or what you are opting from the market. So Renault has not compromised uh, on the design, especially on the exterior design. They have brought in the global design identity to India with this capture. You can see the proper uh, global uh, design uh, language being followed here uh, with a huge uh, Renault badging in the center which we have seen in a lot of uh, new generation Renault cars, even in the concepts. And it's been followed by a, a sparkling headlight as been called by Renault. It's a pure LED um, headlight. It look, uh, attractive with a beautiful cluster and you can see an attractive C kind of uh, design for the uh, LED uh, daytime running light along with the uh, fog lamp over here. On the front uh, end you can see the car look massive and masculine with a bolder look and there's a masculine line on the hood which give a proper uh, muscle feel for the car. When it comes to the side profile you can see the combination of SUV, hatchback and maybe a station wagon uh, to combine to look and uh, give a crossover kind of feel. A huge uh, masculine wheel arch has been given which gives a proper masculine feel. Uh, the roof line is a bit straight on the center and uh, curvy on the front A pillar and a small D pillar which is bolder one. Gives a proper um, SUV kind of feel. 
and on the side profile it's a very clean design which reminds us uh, about the hatchback or maybe the MPV kind of feel uh, which give a clean design. The dynamic line and the chrome fittings are amazing, looking good, giving a sporty feel. The huge side mirror also give a good role uh, as an uh, SUV kind of a design. When you come to the rear version, you can see uh, more like a MPV or a station wagon kind of design with a huge uh, book lid which is a purposeful one and when you open you're getting a huge deep uh, boot space the specification is not given yet but it's a huge deeper one which is a roomy uh, luggage space and the design can be concluded in a way that it's a combination of hatchback station wagon and uh, um, uh, SUV kind of design with uh, a proper boulder, stronger bumpers which give a proper SUV kind of feel. The attraction on the rear one is the LED tail light which is a splitted one look uh, from the global stable. So the, altogether the design is a combination of SUV mo and a part of an MPV and hatchback or can be a station wagon combination to give a crossover kind of feel. To match with the design, uh, Renault has given a very attractive 17-inch alloy wheel with a crystal design which look again attractive. That's where the Renault is not compromised on bringing in the global uh, style of design uh, where normally most of the manufacturers compromise on such elements like the wheels. New Capture is a huge car, as claimed by Renault, it's much uh, dimensionally bigger and taller than what's sold all over the world. So it's reflected in the interior, it's a very roomy interior. The first thing which attracted me in the interior is the sitting position, it's having a proper commanding position, sit high, the view is great, proper like an SUV, you are getting the proper view of the road. And the green room is also great that you can see all around, enjoy a scenic beauty while you are having the drive maybe taking a family. The interior design log which is also global taken from the international model. So it's uh, having a very different uh, layout uh, from what we've seen in the Duster or the Quid or maybe a Lodge. There's a screen over here, it's a touch screen, the, but the infotainment system is not the updated one or the latest one. Uh, there's a bit of lag in the touch uh, response. Um, you can use uh, multimedia, radio, whatever, like uh, even the satellite and reverse camera in this and the center console is neatly layout. It's a copper chrome uh, finish and that's the option for white as well. Uh, there's a two air vent on the both side. Um, so it look very, uh, very much from the Renault models which you've seen. This dashboard is clutted very well. It's a easily readable uh, meter console. And steering is also nice, optimum size, very gripped with the leather wrapping spoke but the problem with the steering is that normally the multifunction steering or the control for the audio and phones are on the steering and the cruise and other control will be on the other end but unfortunately in Renault the main crucial controls are behind the steering which is actually been blinded so ergonomically that's not a proper way to keep that another ergonomic uh, drawback which I've seen is the placing of the handrest you'll be getting a good support on the hand but when you use the handbrake you need to move around a bit which feel uncomfortable. The air conditioning is a good one for especially in this heat conditions, properly cooling, which again is a proven one from Renault. Another best part is the way the seat has been made. It's a very supportive seat with side walls and uh, even seats are good. It's a leather wrapped, but the steering is only tiltable. It's not telescopic adjustable. Again, the rear is also very spacious, enough thigh support, headroom and knee room. So it's a very comfortable uh, rear seat for the capture. Even though Renault has not given us the size of the boot, it's a very uh, deep well boot, so it's a huge boot and you can easily accommodate a family luggage in that. So Renault is now enjoying the sixth place in the entire auto industry with just three models, which is uh, Duster, Quid and the Lodge in which Duster and Quid is doing very good. So with this new model, I think uh, Renault is trying to capture more volume and improve their position in the Indian market in a couple of years. Renault will be introducing a new model every year, which means they're very confident and ambitious about the brand in India. That is very uh, convenient for your after sales and customer support. You get all the information regarding with your car and the service, and you can even use that app to book your service and even make the payment. And Renault want 
the life of their customer to be easier with their cars. And Prino is also expanding their uh, dealer network now. They have 300 plus dealership and they will be expanding more. But if you are from a remote place, don't worry about that. There is a workshop on wheel at a fully fledged Lodge which will come to your doorstep and service your car. So ownership wise, to own a Prino is much sweeter than earlier. Hope you like this video. If you like it, you can give a thumbs up. Per and you can also subscribe to our channel and you can follow us in our social media platforms and get updated.